So if we take uh, American citizens, who are not necessarily the people who read you, but at the margin we could give them more nonfiction, we could give them more travel, we could give them more fiction, or we could actually give them more of some really good TV. Which of those things are we rooting for them to do more of at the margin? At the margin, I, th I would think travel. I think really the experience of the foreign place uh, would be the most benefit because I think most people really don't get that, don't have that opportunity. Um, I don't think they need more TV. I think TV is pretty well covered in this country <laughs> and everyone gets uh, their fill uh, or the, the proper or probably more than the proper dose. Um, but I think fiction is up there. I think fiction is an important part of it. Uh, uh, as well, and it's, it's such an easy part to get to as well. So I think people should take advantage of that. I, in that sense, the, the marginal cost is relatively low, uh, the, the, uh, since you, know, you can just go to your local library, to the local bookstore, and you have such a wide selection. Uh, See, I'm actually inclined to give them the marginal dose of TV. Really? Uh, I think people absorb it and process it better. Mm -hmm. And the fact that they watch a lot of TV means they're good at it. So you're very good at reading <laughs> fiction. You absorb and process it very well. Mm -hmm. So TV shows really stick with people. If at the margin you're giving people quality TV, mm. it might even be my choice over travel. A lot of people come away from travel alienated. They don't always enjoy travel. Mm -hmm. They may vaguely feel it was good for them. They had to make too many decisions and they argue with each other. Uh, all uh, right, I can, I can see that. Uh,